guys, what's up? It's Ashley here. So in today's video, I thought I would do a follow-up to my last two videos on how to cut plants for propagation. So I'm gonna show you how to propagate your plants successfully. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And with that, let's get into the video. All right, so hi, we're in my bathroom. So I'm going to be getting some tap water for this lovely little glass and we'll be putting some propagations into this so we can watch them root and everything. So that will be fun to watch and the other half will be going into my prop box. So with further ado, let me get this full and we'll put some propagations in this. All right, so I got my glass of tap water right here. So let me put in some uh, propagations in this guy and then I'll show you how to do that in a prop box. It's fairly straightforward, but I thought I'd show you anyways, just for the newbies out there, you know? We got this guy, so we'll put this one in. I like to have glasses like this so they can kind of float and kind of float and be merry in there. Because I like to have them kind of hold on with their leaf stems so they can stay in place. Got this guy. Sometimes they will float up to the top, but you can kind of push them down and get in the right spot. Let's put this guy in here. This is long. That one up to the top. There we go. Get this guy in here. Now I would replace the water probably weekly so it doesn't get gross because the water in here can get pretty gross pretty quickly. So keep an eye out for the water because yeah, you'll wanna keep replacing it because like, like I said, it will get gross. So let me put in a few more here. Let me put in this guy. You can just lean. So we kind of got a full little glass here full of propagations and in a few weeks they'll start to grow and do their thing. So let me show you the prop box and we'll go from there. Thought I would show you up close and personal kind of what it looks like here. As long as the roots that you want are under the water, you are fine. And if it gets low, just replace some of the water and yeah, just let them do their thing and they'll start growing like crazy, trust me. All right, so here is my prop box right here that you can see has some dirt in it. And what I'll do too is kind of wet down the dirt again because there hasn't been anything in here for a while. So let me open it. Let's see if the soil is still wet. It still is kind of wet, but I think I'll wet it down a little bit. And I do have, um, not peat moss, but like kind of a sphagnum moss thing that you can get from miracle Grow. I would like to actually get sphagnum moss to grow because I have seen that they grow way better than this kind of, um, peat moss or whatever you want to call it so let me get this wet and then we'll put in the rest of our cuttings and I may cut some more plants just to put some in here so you can kind of see the differences on how plants grow with their nodes and that kind of thing okay so I got this all wet or damp really and then I sprayed the sides to try to create some more moisture for this so let me put the plants in and then we'll go from there all right let's get some plants in here so we'll put this little baby guy right here and just make sure that the node is covered so that way it has some optimal growth and see this right here i'm gonna cut these two oh wait let me actually do this see if you can see it so 
just stick it in right there and let the nodes get all covered. This leaf may or may not die down here. I don't know. We'll see if it um, stays alive while it's propagating. And we'll put this one in here like so. Like that. There we go. And we'll put these guys in. See, I didn't cut that well. Because <laughs> now there's going to be roots everywhere. But I guess that isn't such a huge deal. So we'll put it in like that. And then we got some more here. Put this guy in. Like so. And we'll get these two. Now hopefully these will survive, but there's always a chance that they won't. But as long as you kind of keep it moist in here and spray it with a um, kind of like a spray bottle or whatever, just to keep the moisture in, it will grow just fine, trust me. <laughs> so that's all I have for propagations right now. I can cut some more and put some in so you can kind of see the growth aspect of that. So I might do that. So hold on a sec. Okay guys, so I think I decided that I want to propagate this right here because it has a great aerial node to be able to propagate. Let's see if you can see it. Look at that. Look at that node right there. So, and it's growing another baby. So I think I'm gonna cut it and then I'll put it in the prop box and see how it goes. So let me do that. It's my first cut from this from this plant right here. All right, I moved you up so you could see the cutting process. I have loved watching this plant grow and I know if I cut this, it will keep growing like a weed because I mean, it just won't stop. So either way, I think it will be good for the plant. So let me cut it. There we go. It is cut. So I'm going to wait a little while for this to heal up and then um, we'll go from there. Now I might just cut this too. I might cut it down so that way there's not like a weird stem happening. So then that way it can grow another offshoot from this right here. So this won't get in the way at all. So, but here we go guys. A Raphodophora cutting. Oh my gosh. All right, so here are the cuttings in this little prop box here. I am going to wait to put the Raphodophora in until it scabs over. So that way we have less chance of mold or rot. So I'll probably put that in either later tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, I also want to show you how uh, you can propagate Monsteras. So let me do that. I did want to show you my plant setup here. So I have grow lights under this desk right here. And that way these guys can grow and get some good growing lights. So I do need to fix this because this tape is not staying, but <laughs> that's all I got for right now. But I wanted to show you kind of how I can grow plants right here in tight spaces. So there we go. All right, you're wondering how to propagate your wonderful monstera plant. Let me show you. So as you can see back here, where that huge aerial note is, the long brown thing that's growing out from the plant, that is your aerial node. Of course, you will want to have a smaller aerial node to be able to propagate because this wouldn't fit in a prop box or in like a, a water propagation thing. So anyways, you'll get a smaller node and you'll cut like right here from where the aerial node is. And there you go. You got your Monstera propagation and it will grow into a big, beautiful plant. This plant actually has been grown from Mama Monstera out in the dining room. So as you can see, it is turning big and wild and beautiful. 
So just keep propagating your plants and you'll get more free plants out of the deal. So, I mean, who can beat that, right? I moved my Monstera cuttings in here so you could see the root growth in this. This is absolutely crazy. It's been in here for maybe a month or two, I think. Um, I cut up a second Monstera plant because it was just being, it was just sad. So these are all the leaves that I cut from it. Some of the leaves are starting to yellow, so it might be time to take these out of the water propagation. But I wanted to show you what excellent root growth looks like. And I also have to replace the water because she's thirsty. So you can see where the water ring usually is and it's had that much to drink. So yeah, just look at all of those roots. So I was just replacing the water in the vase that these monsteras are in. And look how much this has grown. This is a huge root system. This is absolutely crazy. This is definitely ready for soil, that is for sure. We also have this one leaf cutting, look at that. Not as big of root system, but I think it is pretty good and it's starting to grow an offshoot. So it is definitely happy. So we got these little guys here and then here's this root system. That is actually really good. And I think this is probably ready for soil as well. Doing so good. We got this three leaf cutting here with a brand new leaf right here. This isn't a bad root system at all. It's actually pretty small, but I think it's probably substantial enough to put in soil and it would grow pretty well. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from this if you are new to the plant community. So with that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more planty content and I will see you later. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashley here. So in today's video, I thought I would do a... Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley here. So in today's video, I thought I would do a... All right, well, I think that does it for today's video. It's probably short and sweet, but hey, it's just showing you guys how to propagate your plants successfully. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. So with that, don't forget to don't forget. <laughs> All right, I think that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something from it. If you are a brand new person that is, no. <laughs>